Well, let's start right off. Tell us about your film, Eddie and Sunny. Yes. Well, right now we actually just had our release um, last weekend. We performed ten in the box office. We were six on Friday, eight I think on Saturday, and finished rounded out the weekend in ten, which is amazing for an independent film. We were against、uh, a lot of bigger productions like Paramount and all these other films. So. We released in Italy,、uh, widescreen, and it's gotten a great reception. So I'm really, really thrilled about that,、uh, especially going into our our U.S. distribution phase. And yeah, it's 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 satisfying. <laughs> Did you already know that you were gonna look for a European cast early on in pre-production? Did you know that you were gonna shoot in Europe? Yes, I was aware that we were gonna need a European cast for Eddie and Sunny, and I also knew that the characters had to be regionalized in. The southern part of the United States, which was a challenge at the onset. So,、um, you know, because all of our cast、uh, was primarily going to be made of European talent, just based on our requirements. They also had to play southern actors from America. So, <laughs> that was the、uh, yeah, that was our challenge. Yeah, from from the onset.、Um, but I think that was、um, I, I, I welcomed it because I knew I knew for me that was going to be something that. I had to,、um, I, I had to, I had to, I had to figure a way to do it, and and obviously I think that nowadays there's so much great talent that you you, you know we're I, I expected to find to find to find some good good actors to fit these roles. So just to let you have a little background, we had a, we had a local casting director in Italy, and we also had one in the U.S. that was、uh, for several of our of our lead billing talent, and having an actor background myself. Cast is very important to me. So、um, plus, I love working with actors, and I I feel like I'm I, I'm an actor's director in that way. So so much for me is is about the casting, and it's an exciting process to find the best talent. And I can confidently say that we pulled a large share of our talent from Italenta. How did you come across the platform? As best as I can recall, I. Pretty much scoured the internet,、uh, looking for all and any casting platforms I could find that would provide me with a strong resource of European talent. And I don't know, Italenta kept 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 showing up, and I just was like, okay, I guess this must be the one because it appears to be a、uh, the most dominant option. I don't know. Sometimes something calls to you, and it just seemed like it was like sort of pulling me in. And I and I and 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 the and the signing up、uh, process was super easy. And I thought, okay, this is this is pretty easy, and I got started right away. Fantastic. So, what was your first impression of the platform?、Uh, well, kind of like I said with, with the signing up, the platform for me、uh, that drew me in was it was very user friendly, and I felt that because I had this sort of wide pool of of talent to 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 search from,、uh, namely talent from all over Europe. Uh, I found that on Italenta, and that was really important because I was looking even, even in Ireland,、um, where we actually cast one of our actors,、uh, actor by the name of James Flynn, who I have to give some credit to,、uh, found off Italenta in Ireland. And what really struck me、uh, immediately and gave me a lot of confidence moving forward with the platform was the talent was strong. I mean, it was I had great submissions, and the organizing tools on Italenta were useful. Especially when you have so many prospects that are coming through, you can kind of get flooded and and a little intimidated because you're like <laughs> you have you're doing so many things at once. You have all these actors that are pouring through,、um, but I, I I found that it was it was it was very easy to to navigate the actors. And I also have to give a little credit to Claudia because she she really helped me get very well acquainted with the platform and how best to utilize all the tools on it. And even the best way,、um, just to to sort through some of my breakdowns,、um, and just the customer service in general was very supportive. And contacting the actors was also easy. And setting up the callbacks off initial auditions ran smoothly as well. From all the submissions that you saw and the the profiles that you had a look at, would you have any advice for actors and actresses presenting themselves online? When I go through the audition process, the most important thing I look for is range. And I always feel it's a great benefit in performing a scene when you're reading it out in a couple different ways.、Um, if you if you can, you have the opportunity. I, I I'm always I always I always am impressed when an actor or actress goes the extra mile. And sometimes it's on that second reading that will make you discover something that you may not have seen off the first one, which will open up the door to explore 
um, other other areas of the actor or actress that you that you may not have seen initially. And also, I feel like that if if you do an initial slate in the very beginning, that's also important. Like I want to get to know who you are. And sometimes, you know, nervousness and anxiety can can prevent that. So if you can just sort of relax and just be yourself and 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 show show me or show whom whomever is is watching the uh, the tape what you have or who you are that's important and i also um recommend that any actors um you know giving their auditions to either the director the producer or the casting director is to just just i mean play the character but also show me yourself be yourself because i think so much that's going to come through and even if you don't have like a, a large resume or uh, not a lot of footage on your reel, just going out and doing like a compelling scene or even a monologue with a decent camera, like that will give you an opportunity to read for a role. So I'm, I'm aware the audition process is nerve wracking. <laughs> I never quite liked it myself as an actor um, and it can be disappointing even at times. So, you know, it's, I, I have a lot of, a lot of um, appreciation for, for actors that, that do this. And, you know, I would just say that you'd be surprised um, what a seasoned director or casting director or producer can discover uh, if someone that when they do something to an interview, just showing um, just a little piece of yourself will give you a better chance uh, of being chosen. And um, I want to also say that confidence is key because, you know, acting is not only craft, but it's charisma. You know, and when an actor just owns their personality, like, there's just something very magnetic about that. It's just very hard to look away from. And I've even had, I've had actors that may not have necessarily read the roles perfectly to a T, but they just impress me so much with their magnetism and, and who they are. I'll, I'll, I'll come back to them and find a way to work with them. Um, another key I would say is auditioning for multiple roles is good as well. I think that, um, you know, we're looking at so many actresses and actors that if your face keeps popping up, there's a stronger consideration that it may get placed, maybe if not in this role, maybe in another role, or maybe not even in any of the two or three roles that you read for, but maybe there's a, a fourth one that, that maybe it's being developed or whatnot. So I, I do appreciate it when the actors go the extra distance on that. And also, um, and I know it may, it may sound a little bit... Uh, you know, silly sometimes some, some, some actors, you know, are for this, not for this, but dressing up sometimes is nice too. Like dressing up a little bit for the role, just, you know, even I've seen actors and, and this always impresses me, um, is when they just even set up a little bit of set design, you know, they put, maybe they'll move something over or they'll have a prop. Um, and see the, for me, even though I can spot talent, the less I have to use my imagination to picture someone in that, in that role, the easier it is for me to like that person, the role. So, you know, to make me feel as if I'm already watching that actor in the movie, that's a plus. What made you decide to send out the castings yourself on the platform? Well, honestly, um, this is one of my favorite sequences of the filmmaking process. And, you know, next to a great story, you need great talent. I mean, that's it. I mean, so it is so critical to have that. And every role is important to me. You know, I don't care what anyone says. Like for me, I don't take, especially if you're building a strong cast from bottom on up or, or bottom down or top bottom, you know, bottom up or top down. If there's one actor, I don't care if they have one line, I don't care if they have no lines, that actor is gonna stand out if they're not strong. So for me, and this is why it's an exhausting process for me because I, I, have, to, I have to feel like every single role is great. So that's why for me, I, I, I like to do it a lot of this myself because I just I I know if there's anything that is not fit for any of the roles then I only have myself to blame. So I, I, I need to take that that initiative. And also, you know, this is why I, I pump up the character description so much in my breakdowns, because I want the best talent, like I said, if even if it's a single line reading. And you know, maybe someone will come in for that and maybe we'll add more dialogue if it suits the project. So um, I also like to work one-on-one -on -one with actors and um, I want to see, I want to have the best, give myself the best chance to see the most talent for the project. And I will see every single actor that submits. I do not gloss over actors ever. Like I look at every single one for me. Like I, I don't, I don't, I don't care if I have like 200 actors, 250, like 
you know, it, it's important. And, and also, you know, I feel they've taken the time out to submit their material and it's just, it's out of respect, you know, it's out of respect. And I, and I, and I think perhaps having an acting background myself, I, you know, I feel this is necessary. And, and, you know, some of my favorite moments in my films, especially even in Edding Sunny, came from actors that I've cast off e Talento for those smart supporting roles and the smaller roles too. What did you make of the submissions that you received? Well, I was, I was, I was very satisfied and I, I got a great range of talent from, from Germany, of course, uh, UK, Spain, Ireland, as I mentioned, France. And, you know, what was so nice about it, all these different, these different countries, different swath of nationalities is, I mean, we live in an international society now. I mean, there's people all over the world. Um, I'm in Spain right now talking to you. I mean, it's just, it's, it's just the way it is. And, and, um, and many of the talent we needed just based off our requirements for the film were necessary from Italy. And actually I got a great, a great pool of talent from Italy. So it was perfect. And I, I felt very confident just right off the bat that I was going to find the people I needed just based off those initial submissions. And I had a lot of characters to cast <laughs> as well. How many rounds of casting did it take you before you settled on your cast? Well, for the bigger roles, probably I would say three. Um, I, um, you know, I, I, I sometimes I would go back and forth to a couple couple actors, but I would usually have about at the most maybe three three auditions. I don't know if I ever had four, maybe, but I think mostly it was limited to three um, because I can usually get a pretty good idea and nail it down to the top few. Um, that said, I mean there were quite a few actors that came in, like maybe like a dozen or so or more. That I pulled in for 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 callbacks. I mean, that's the thing. If I get if I get even one good thing from an actor submission, that's a callback for me. It's a callback, you know, because I, I know that initial auditions can be a little shaky. I just know it. So so I I look for the one good thing uh, that I see that can bring me back. Um, and also, I love working with actors. So that's why it's important for me to see if I can get something better out of them. And I feel like it's also easier when there's a live session as well um, because I think sometimes the ice can be broken and I can find a better way to disarm the actor actresses and give them an opportunity to give me their best work in a live setting after the initial video submissions. Definitely. I think, especially now after, you know, two years of pandemic, we, we miss that personal contact that looking someone in the eye when they're right in front of you, rather than having a screen uh to to keep you apart we cast ours during the pandemic so and that's why it was like i think there were so many people that were just they wanted to just they wanted to just interact so it was like it was perfect i felt i felt not only was i having the benefit and the beauty of casting this movie but i got a chance to interact with people that were in quarantine and it was like it was a per it was a great experience how many roles did you end up casting through italenta it was 15, 15 roles, which is a lot. It was a lot, yeah. And including, I, I have to mention Rachel Fowler, who blew me away from her, her first reading. And she plays Ginger and is such a key player in Eddie and Sonny. And yeah, so that, I, I, I got a lot of, lot of talent from me, Talanta, <laughs> a lot. <laughs> is there something specific that you liked about working with the platform? The ease of which to find the talent, whether it was from putting out my first initial breakdown on the platform, or even using the search filters to go through, you know, directly to find a specific age or character type or ethnicity or accent or language spoken, um, everything and, and anything that would be helpful to to better discover the specific person that was tailored for the right role. So a lot of the the, the search engines were were fantastic. Okay, now the the dreaded question of all directions. <laughs> <laughs> Hit me. Here we go. What's your next project about? I'm glad you asked that because the next project is uh, it's called Iguana Song, and we are we are we're getting close to uh, you know as as time would have it to our to our stage where we would be going through the casting phase. Um, it's about a Mexican singer that's arrested for murder, who awaits uh, extradition to the United States. And it's going to be an exciting thriller. And I am certain of it that we're going to do a significant amount of principal shooting in Italy, um, as we did the last film. 
So I'm sure I'm going to be going to Italanta very soon to begin my uh, next round of searching for another dynamite task. That sounds like the perfect way to wrap up. Thank you so much for talking to us and for sharing your experience. Thank you very much. Thank you. Mm -hmm.